but tonight is actually gonna be my family birthday dinner. Definitely check out Merit and order from them. They immigrated here from the Philippines. I am first generation. Ready for dinner. Please close. Your mouth has just gotten worse. No, it hasn't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> morning everyone so it's the day after universal i can't remember what date this vlog goes up so i can't remember if you guys have had a break from vlogs or not or actually no i think this week i forgot to announce it but this week monday through saturday is going to be a solid week of vlogs i'm not going to do a formal sit down video until sunday i'm a little bit stuffy i think just from the stress of this weekend my body's just like a little bit stressed out. I mean, it was all good stress for sure, but good stress can still absolutely stress out your body. So I woke up a little bit stuffy, but it's okay. Like, I don't feel sick. I just feel like, meh, you know? But anyways, the pup and I are on our way to go get Starbucks. Thank you so much to our friends, Chris, Ashley, and of course, Kylie for the Starbucks gift card for my birthday. Definitely putting it to good use today because I am low on my blueberry creamer. I forgot to refill it last time I went to Trader Joe's and I don't feel like going today. So Starbucks it is. I think I'm going back and forth on if I want that creme brulee latte again or if I want to do my regular holiday like iced coffee with the chestnut praline syrup. I feel like the creme brulee. I want something fancier today. So yeah, I figured I would take Spartacus to go on a little car ride, walk him around there just for some new smells, pick up some Starbucks for Trevor and I, and then I gotta get home and get to editing. I need to edit the last few days for Vlogmas, the luxury birthday shopping slash birthday dinner, and then the universal day. So I'm gonna be pretty much busy all day working on that. I just wanted to pop on and say hi really quick and take you with us to go get Starbucks. But tonight is actually gonna be my family birthday dinner. So I'll definitely take you guys along for that. And I figured we'd also get ready together. Merit Beauty sent me their new holiday bag with just a couple goodies in it. So I'll show that to you guys and then we'll do a little quick get ready with me for dinner. But we're pulling up to Starbucks now. I think I'm gonna let them go potty first and then go grab my Starbucks. Wow, it is crowded here today. Why? Okay. Uh oh, leave it. No. No. No chocolate for you. No chocolate for you. Goodbye. Bye bye. Plaza and I'm going to go get 
You're leaving. You're leaving. You're leaving. That's why I said bye. That's why I said that. I'm sorry, you are taking up all of the camera. That's fine. You're more interesting than me editing anyways. I know. I love you so much. I love you so, so much. You are my favorite in the world. What are you doing? What are you doing? What's going on? Are you just looking for attention from someone? Is dad not giving you attention? I'm sorry. Okay. So it's so much later. <laughs> And it's too dark to do my makeup at my vanity and film it. I could do it at my vanity, but you guys won't be able to see anything. And I definitely wanted to share my merit stuff with you guys and do this as a bit of a get ready with me. I'm not going to go crazy. I do want to leave it more natural, which is where the merit products come in clutch because everything is minimal and I can do a really quick face with a lot of the products. But first off, I wanted to show you guys the holiday bag. Like I said, they sent me some new products and it came in the new holiday bag and it's so beautiful i love it it's, it's a black velvet bag so if you guys have any leftover christmas shopping for like people you might be seeing like right after christmas and stuff and the person you're shopping for maybe likes makeup or likes more minimal makeup definitely check out merit and order from them they'll come in this really nice holiday bag and you won't even have to worry about wrapping because this alone is such a beautiful presentation and bonus they get a little bag or you know obviously if you want to get for yourself this is super cute but the new products that i got right now the first one is a new perfecting complexion stick the current one that i have is in the shade khaki and this is a perfect color for me for all over face so there's what that color looks like but i want to go ahead and get a second stick in a deeper color so i got sienna that way i could just kind of like do my face really quickly as far as contour and all over color go so i got sienna which is a little bit deeper i didn't want it to be too dramatic i'm not trying to contour with it i'm just trying to more like brontour with it so i'll be using that and then i also got another shade slick this one is in sangria so it's a little bit deeper of a color i really really love the formula of their shade slicks i'm sorry if you guys are fogging up trevor just took a shower in here but i'm trying to like let it air out but anyways here is sangria it almost looks like a deeper version of the taupe color that i have but i'll go ahead and swatch this one for you so you guys can see yeah it's definitely a deeper shade perfect for the winter time especially if you just want to do like one and done but let's go ahead and get my face going and tonight we're eating at puesto which is a mexican restaurant because clearly trevor and i have not gotten enough mexican cuisine although actually when we were in mexico we didn't eat that much mexican food because it was like an all-inclusive resort and they had cuisine from like different parts of the world there so to be fair we really didn't get that much i think we had like some tacos and then oh my god the chilaquiles there <sighs> so amazing i've actually never had chilaquiles before but i feel like now the bar is set so high for the next time i have chilaquiles because theirs just blew me away i'm gonna go in with sienna first and then i need to defog this mirror right here shoot well, maybe I'll just do everything in the viewfinder. So I'm just going to draw in the areas where I would want it deeper. Definitely right here. Hmm. Under the chin. Under the lips. A little bit of a pouty effect. Perfect. And then drawing in the rest of my face with khaki. Just basically wherever I did not put Sienna. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a mirror so I can see myself a little closer before I blend this all together, but I'm gonna use my sponge to blend it. So yesterday while we were at Universal, Trevor told me he has one more birthday surprise for me and he said to be ready at like 11 a.m. tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be Monday. So apparently we are going somewhere. He told Michelle while we were in line at the studio tour. So that was very annoying that they were standing there both knowing what <laughs> I'm gonna be doing Monday and I don't know. <laughs> but apparently birthday festivities will continue to a fourth vlog. 
was not expecting that. Sorry, if you guys can hear that, he's blowing his nose. He's freaking snot rocketing all over our living room. I just know it. He like refuses to use a tissue, it drives me nuts. Wow, that was so quick and my face looks contoured. That's beautiful. Or bronzed, I should say. That was so freaking easy. I need to do concealer. I tried to guess and I was hoping that was Botox, but he said it's absolutely not Botox. Someday. Someday. I really do want to get Botox. I did not blend under my lip, but I will blend that out some more when I go to do my concealer. I'm going to let my concealer sit just for a hot sec while I do my brows. But I have been trying to get it out of him, like what I should wear tomorrow. I go so back and forth on whether or not I like surprises because I'm the type, I just, I don't like to be unprepared. But I also love the gesture of surprises. Like I love getting surprised, but I just don't want to feel like I'm under overdressed too much. I mean, I don't mind being a little overdressed for stuff, but I definitely don't ever want to feel like I'm underdressed. But I'm like, how comfy can I dress for this? And he keeps like saying, wear whatever you want. And I'm like, that's not helpful in the least bit. I also still have to get all of my freaking Christmas shopping done still. Actually, I figured out a couple of them. Like there's a couple in my Amazon cart right now. I'm waiting until I figure out more before I pull the trigger on that Amazon cart. Although I know time is running out. But the stuff that's in my Amazon cart is also stuff that I could get at Target if I need to, so I'm not super worried. But this is like the latest that I've ever done my Christmas shopping and it's stressing me out. It's driving me crazy. My sister and I did finally figure out what to get my parents. It's really, really good. Actually, I can tell you guys, my parents don't watch my vlogs unless I specifically tell them about one that they really wanna watch. So we are gonna get them a family portrait session. We're like looking into photographers right now and then we're gonna find out when they're available and book one. My mom had wanted to do a session in Hawaii, but we just ran out of time. So we figured that we would get them a session here with a professional photographer too. She just wanted to like have a stranger take pictures of us. And I was like, using my camera and I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm not handing a stranger my camera. So my sister and I are gonna hire a professional to do the photos. One side is stronger than the other, but we're just gonna run with it. And then Trevor is being the most stubborn of all the people that I have to get a present for. I've already gotten him one of the presents, but I'm still trying to come up with a few others. It's like so weird because, so my family growing up, we are like a one big present type of family. Like everyone, just gets one present and it's like a big thing. So, you know, go big or go home on what you're asking for. Versus Trevor's family, like you get like a pretty decent sized present, like pretty big present. But then also you get like multiple little presents and they're like practical gifts, which is nice, you know, because you get something for someone that they would use daily and it goes to good use and it's something that you've helped them out on. They don't need to worry about like spending their money on it and stuff. It's just been like a weird thing to adjust to. Cause like I'll like name presents to him for suggestions to people and he's like, whoa, that's like a really big gift. And I'm like, oh, sorry, that's just how I'm used to it. Although I'm not gonna lie, for the last few years, my parents have just given me <laughs> cash cause I keep buying myself everything I want and they're just like, okay, you know what, here's, here's some money. <laughs> Although I get that from them. My parents are some of the hardest people to shop for because kudos to them for the hard work they've put in through their lives. They are very well off. So they buy themselves whatever they want, whatever they want, not in a frivolous way. My dad is very, very, very fiscally responsible. But I just mean like if they wanna go on a trip, they get a trip. If they want a new vacuum, they get a vacuum. There's nothing ever that they want for. So it's always so hard to buy them Christmas gifts. Like every Christmas, my sister and I are like, what are you getting, Papa? and mama. And both of us are always like, I don't know, do you wanna go in on something? <laughs> Cause it's like, they get themselves so many things that like the only thing left to get them is like really, really big things. But like I said, good for my parents. They have worked very hard. They immigrated here from the Philippines. I am first generation, if you are not aware. Most of my family in the same generation as me 
is first generation here in America or actually I have a couple of cousins who immigrated here when they were young. So everyone in my family has just like worked very, very hard for what they have and to be here, which I think is kind of like where my work ethic comes in. For those of you guys who've been around, you know, I am the type, I just never stop working. I always want to be working on a project, working on something, which is why I post three times a week. It's why I love to do Vlogmas. Like, it's like, I just never tire of any of it. I never tire of being busy. Like even on my days off, not days off from YouTube. I don't take any days off from YouTube. This is like my thing to do on my days off is basically my point. Like my days off from work, I'm working on YouTube. I need to be working on something. It's just, who I am and it's just what's been ingrained in me all my life. By the way, the blush that I just used is the Merit Sheet color and this is in the shade Beverly Hills. It's just a nice soft pink, perfect for literally any makeup look. It's neutral enough that it will go with whatever you're doing. But yeah, I am actually very grateful that my parents hammered that work ethic into me because there's no way I could do this three times per week, normally during the year plus a full-time job without having that very strict work ethic and that like desire to always be working. But trust me, I do know how to relax. There are some days where I just put the computer away and I just like watch TV all day or like a half day where I'll do that. I feel like I'm pretty good at balancing myself personally. Like I'm happy with the routine that I've set down for myself. I feel like I have a good harmony between you know, getting my work done and working on new projects and stuff and taking the time that I need to rest and recharge. One thing though that I'm sure my parents wish I had picked up more from them was being more fiscally responsible. <laughs> I just like pretty things. I'll work hard to get them, but I've never been a saver. The worst at it. Which is probably why I married someone who is an extreme saver. Which is good, you know, he kind of keeps it in check for me or for us, basically. I mean, the way we operate is technically our money is joint money, but we each manage it ourselves without going into too much detail. We do share some funds, but for the most part, we manage what we make. And we've kind of come into this balance really, where for the most part, my salary is the salary to spend, which is fine, it's what I'm good at, it's what I do. And his salary is kind of like the one to save and his is the one that's used for like the bigger things because he does save more. So in that sense, we've definitely struck a good chord between the two of us. And I've always been the type I knew I wouldn't want to fully combine finances with my significant other because I am, I'm just very, very independent. So I appreciate that he, you know, lets us compromise in that way where our full finances don't necessarily get combined. We still each get to keep some stuff to ourselves, which to me makes the most sense because you know, you're working for your money. You should, you know, get to use it for fun if you want to use it for fun. Or if you're a saver, you should get to save it without worrying that, you know, someone else is gonna spend it. Just a little tip for any of you guys who are thinking about combining finances who might have similar personalities to ours. That's how we do it. Or if you've ever been curious. I know I've been curious. It's never something I would ask about to someone directly, but I'm always just like, kind of like in my head curious about like, huh, I wonder how they split their finances. I did not feel like doing a regular wing today or a liquid wing. I was like, I'm gonna keep this easy on myself. Get some mascara. Oh, by the way, if anyone hears from the Grande Lash video, I need to get back on it. I stopped using it for a few months. I started to get a sty a couple months ago. So I stopped using anything around my eyes except for eye cream because I got scared. I didn't want it to get worse. And then I got lazy about restarting, so. That's why my lashes just aren't as long as they used to be. I do want to get back on it. I love Grande Lash. It made such a difference on my lashes. Maybe I'll start using that again tonight now that I'm saying it to remind myself. But yeah, I haven't been using it lately. So I've been relying more and more on false lashes and I really want my lashes to get long again because 
I missed how long they were on Grande Lash. That stuff is really, really effective. But it's the same with any lash serum because I've seen some like questions. It's the same with any lash serum. If you don't use it, then your lashes are going to go back to how long they were before because it's not a permanent thing. Basically, the way that most lash serums work is that the formula kind of keeps your natural lashes in their growth phase for longer and that's why you get longer lashes so if you don't use it your lashes aren't staying in that growth phase as long so they'll go back to being as short as they were before you started using the lash serum so keep that in mind like i said i know i've seen some questions on the grown lash video and you guys i apologize i'm not the best at getting back to comments on very very old videos my priority is always to respond to people on my newest videos. So if you ask me a question on an old one, I apologize that I, I don't get back to you. I'm going in with this Merit highlighter. It's so beautiful. Wow. And it sinks right into the skin. I'm gonna blend it in a second. But this is the Highlighting Balm in Kava. Do a little on the nose. I'm just gonna blend it with my fingers. And I actually do have powder on right now underneath and none of these bombs or creams or anything are disturbing the powder underneath which is kind of nice i mean typically you don't want to do that but because i am so oily i like powder after every step so when i'm using cream products i love it when i'm working with ones that can still work over a powder pretty well and merit's products definitely do that pretty i'm just gonna spray my face down and then we'll do my lips nice and wet and potty thank you what time is it? I don't have like five thirty. Oh, okay. So I have more than this. I just need to spray it. Oh. Say hi to the vlog. Oh. <laughs> oh. <coughs> okay. Five forty. Okay, I'm almost done. You're, I'd say we leave what six ten. Yeah. Six fifteen at the latest. Yeah, it takes about fifteen minutes to get there. So let's do six fifteen. Okay. So I am sprayed down. Where did my lip liner go? I'm going to go in with Spice. This is from MAC. I just want to lay down a color. Actually, you know, my lips are really chopped. I don't know why. I think because I didn't drink that much yesterday at Universal. We all kept needing to go to the bathroom. So I just didn't want to have to keep peeing. So I just wasn't drinking a lot of water. Now my lips are chopped. Okay. I was trying to wallet. Where would I be? Uh oh, you lost your wallet? I didn't lose it. It's probably in my pants from yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Right. I don't know where I put my I'm just laying down a layer of color. I'm also just barely overlining my lips. I always like to round out my cupid's bow because it's naturally very pointy. And I just like a little bit of a softer look up top and also my lips are slightly uneven on each side so i even them out it is a little tricky because i have a beauty mark here so i don't want to like overline this side but i do like to try to overline this side just a touch for some fullness so i just put spice down and now i'm going to go over it with the shade slick from merit in sangria oh those colors go really perfectly together very nice All right, and that is the look. Very, very easy and quick. It's basically a very minimal face with just like a slightly soft glam eye. Definitely a great one for like if you're gonna go out to dinner but you just don't wanna like spend two hours in front of the mirror doing your makeup but you still wanna look like you put effort in and tried. This is definitely a good way to go. Ready for dinner. Please close. Oh, let me close this because better. Okay, so I'm wearing these Shaper faux leather leggings. These are classics. I've had them for years. They're just so good. And then I'm wearing this like off-shoulder 
plum Windsor top. I just thought that this top was so gorgeous. I love the color. I am wearing my bracelet because I know my sister's going to want to see it, but I feel like it just keeps getting covered up by this. I'm like, no. I'm also wearing my Louis Vuitton lock necklace. And then for shoes, I don't have them on yet. But I'm going to wear my like little suede pointed toe booties, but those are in my car. I thought that they've been missing this whole time, but I found them. They're in my car. So I'm just going to like wear flip flops on the way out and change into them on the way. But we're about to head out of here. Of course, also too, I'm going to bring my new Louis because if you missed my Louis Vuitton unboxing, I mentioned my sister is a Louis Vuitton collector. So I know she's definitely going to want to see the new bag. But yeah, I think we're going to get out of here in just a few minutes. Got done with dinner. I am so full. I love Puesto. My first the tacos time. are filling as fuck, you guys. Oh, okay. Don't stop it with that. Your mouth has just gotten worse. No, it hasn't. Oh my god. Very immature. I can't believe you would use that language. Like you used to never use that language, and now it's just. I used to never use that language. How well did you know me? Oh. I would have known what I know now. Oh, there's my dad's car. Why did they walk all the way around? They could walk through the structure. Are you I sure it's the right license plate? Yeah. I don't know. No one, only one person has that license plate. My dad has a custom license plate. But anyways, yeah. Got done with dinner. So freaking full, but it was delicious. Also finally got, where did they go? My, par I don't, I don't my parents know. and my sister literally disappeared. I think they <laughs> didn't realize where they were. Did they walk like all the way around? I think they walked all the way around. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways. Good for us. <laughs> right? We went the short way. Uh, um, okay, I can't. It's cool. They have a rooftop party right area for that Ooh. apartment complex. Nice. Hold on to it. No, it's on the oh, sticky okay. pad. <laughs> I'm a pro. Of course, I have a freaking sticky pad for my camera in my car. Whatever, amateur. What? <laughs> You're the one who thought the camera wasn't on unless the flip-up screen was up. Okay. Amateur. I don't pretend to be an expert. I'm not pretending. Oh, my lights are not on. My lights are not on. We're driving my car. <laughs> I'm uh, driving though. I know. That's my car. That's my lights. <laughs> <sighs> what are you saying? If I would have known what I know now. What? What? What would you have done if you had known what you know now? I cancel your present tomorrow. Yeah, you guys, I, I think I told you earlier, I have no idea what this supposed secret extra present is that's coming. We're going to Newport. There you go. Okay. I don't want to tell you. It'll ruin the surprise. Okay. I didn't, I wasn't saying you needed to tell me. I'm oh, just saying okay. I don't know what You're it is. You were mad that I wouldn't tell you at dinner. Because, I, you know me. I like it to is going to be amazing though. All right, well, we're in the dark now, so we'll see you guys when we get oh, home. Oh crap, I forgot hours. Okay, so it's later. I'm bundled up because it's freaking freezing again. But clarification on what I had said earlier in this video. Apparently it's not technically a birthday surprise that we're doing tomorrow. It's a Christmas present surprise. So whatever's happening tomorrow is my first Christmas present from Trevor. I'm very frustrated because I don't know what it is and I don't like being unprepared. So I don't know what I'm supposed to wear, if I should put on makeup. I have no freaking clue. I've kind of gotten some hints. I told him I'm going to dress really comfy and he said that that's fine. I can wear whatever I want. So really, I have no fucking clue what the hell is going on tomorrow. It's not very often that I truly don't have an idea about what a surprise is. So this is really, really throwing me off. Usually I'm able to guess or I have like a good idea or I've sneakingly found out somehow. But this time I truly don't know what the hell is gonna be happening tomorrow. So you guys will come along with me on that journey and find out with me exactly what's going on. So yeah, that'll be interesting. If you hear snoring, that's Spartacus. He's literally, you guys can't even see him. Look at this. He's in there somewhere. 
He's so snuggled up right now. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to tell you that I've been meaning to tell you guys for two days. I keep forgetting. I fixed the star on the top of our tree. It looks so good. And also, I do want to apologize about the Universal vlog a little bit. I noticed it was a bit shakier than usual. So this camera, I'm used to it being really, really stabilized because the camera itself, the body has in-body stabilization, but this lens that I typically use with it, the kit lens that it comes with, has an image stabilizer in it too. So it's very, very, very stable. So usually with this camera, I know I can kind of wave it around and it's fine. I didn't realize that this new lens does not have an image stabilizer in it, so I have to handle it a bit smoother than I normally would when I have this lens on. I have to basically use it the way I use the Sony. The Sony does not have an image stabilizer. I think it has a little bit of image stabilization in the lens, but for the most part, it doesn't really have it, so I kind of have to like keep it in mind that I need to keep this one a little bit steadier, but you guys can see the difference, what I was talking about between the lenses. They're like right underneath each other. That's how much space I save with this new lens and also the quality on this lens. Oh my god, I'm editing this vlog and I'm like, the detail that this new lens is picking up is insane. So I may be vlogging on this pretty permanently from here on out now that I've finally actually seen what it looks like when I'm going to edit. It looks so much better. It almost rivals this Sony. Almost. Very, very close, which is why I'm saying like I may start vlogging with this regularly now so I don't ever have to worry about the Sony. But anyways, I'm done now. Thank you for letting me make those ending points and I will see you tomorrow for this surprise adventure that's apparently happening. Again, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs>